our kitchen tap has sprung a leak so we're going to try and replace it with a new one it's going to be a nightmare to get to never as simple as you think it's going to be we would use a rusting screw oh no pickle you will it work will it leak drum roll please poop poop that is the tap we have it's just a mixer tap hot and cold and it's supposed to swivel but i think the swiveling has broken the seal inside we've put it together with some plumber's tape at the moment we've got this new tap which looks pretty identical it's, it's a little bit longer it was only from amazon it's got the two feeds in the bottom for the hot and cold we have a pressurized water system so we don't need a tap with a micro switch built in hold on what's a micro switch and how do i know which type of tap i'll need a tap with a micro switch looks like this. It'll have the two wires coming from it, which need to be connected to the system. When you turn on the tap, the micro switch sends a signal to the pump to tell it to pump the water through to the tap. In a pressurized system like we have, the tap will either not have any wires coming from it, or it might have the wires, but they won't be connected to anything in the van. Pressurized systems have a sensor, which activates the pump when it detects the tap has been turned on can see the two feeds in there under the sink that go to the tap but it's going to be a nightmare to get to and I'll have to take the sink out. The sink doesn't look too difficult to get out in theory. Just pop off these caps then there's some screws underneath oh this screw is totally rusted oh no <sighs> Somebody's used the wrong screw in there. We would use a rusting screw as is typical with these situations. It's never as simple as you think it's going to be. One of the screws have completely rusted. The head had rusted off so I couldn't undo it. I had to cut away a little plastic washer. I managed to get it out with a pair of pliers by turning it, not just by pulling it. <laughs> so I managed to get all the screws out of the sink and it does lift out. Oh no, look at all that dirt underneath the sink. That's like years of build up of cooking grease. I'm gonna sort all of that out. So now I can access underneath the tap. You can see the feeder pipes and this sort of C-shaped nut that's holding the tap assembly on. And there's a big hexagonal nut and bolt under there with the earth wires on it. So I can get a, a spanner on it now to take it off. It's a 13mm socket. It's coming off. Oh, it's just a little nut. Got to remember to put the earth wire back on. And there's another earth wire. The one went from the hob to the tap. And another one went from the tap to the sink. So it's doubly protected. Oh, there's another nut. That nut was just holding the earth on. Ah, there's another big nut. Here's 10 mil socket. Ooh. I see this whole C-shaped bracket drops down. The tap will come up through the hole and I can unscrew the feed pipes. Put the new tap on. Oh, you don't have to hold the pipe still. It won't twist after a bit when it becomes looser. There, the tap is off. The new tap even comes with its own feeder pipes and fixing bracket which is just as well because the one for the old tap was completely different i can fit the new tap with its own fixings well it turns out i couldn't use the new feeder pipe because the connectors are different on the end that goes into the van but that's okay i just swapped the rubber washer from the new one to the old one so i'm taking the feed pipes off the hoses beneath the sink because then i can more easily attach them to the underside of the tap without them being fixed and twisting around and then I can just push the feed pipes back down through the holes and connect them back up this end. Got the washer that goes on top there. Yeah it's much easier to screw the hoses into the tap when they're not attached underneath. Nice and tight. Okay so this one's hot, this one's cold. So I've read them through here. Yeah. So then 
you screw in these bolts with the little short bit into the end of the tap, take the bolt off, just tighten it up a little bit. It'll tighten when it's tightened from the underside. And it's got two of these. So then I've, I've got my washer. It's up inside the tap like that. Push the whole thing down through the work top. Get a nice tight seal. So next is the rubber washer. And then the metal washer. And then the earth wire from the hob. And then the earth wire for the sink. And then a nut. So now I just need to put the, the nut on the other washer and do them up. And that's why it comes with this tool to get up to the nut. So before you tighten your tap completely up from the bottom, make sure you can turn the control knob without it bumping into the window or something. I needed to turn this whole assembly a little bit. So that's good. It's in a good position. I've tightened it up. It can go all the way over to cold and not interfere with the blind. And it can go all the way over to hot and not be over the hob and interfere with the, the lid of the hob. <laughs> I'll just feed the is down through the hole. So now I can just connect them up under there. Oh, okay. The most magnificent new anyone's ever seen. So now is the acid test. Will it work? Will it leak? Drum roll please. It's working and there's no leaks yet. No leaks underneath. No leaks under there. Yay! Works. Well, Pickle, now that we have a new kitchen sink, how do you feel? How do you feel? Do you feel good? <laughs> Can you please do something? Oh no, don't eat the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you like our unique style of video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out, and we'll see you in the next video. Au revoir! Au revoir! Au revoir! So, why is my new tap? Got two bolt holes. Go. Oh.